This is the Fat Bean Man. I'm out in my garage, and I have one of my students. He's in business for himself with Flip and Bee Company. And what we're going to do is we're going to mix a pollen substitute. And I'm going to let my fellow here, James, my student, he's going to explain step by step how we do this. A cheap way to do your pollen substitute. All right, take her away, James. All right, it's pretty simple. It's early in the season coming out of winter, or right in late in winter, and you want to feed your bees, but you don't want to put that wet patty in that hive yet. You can make up a dry sub so on the warmer days they can get out. It's pretty basic. I got whole wheat flour here. I got some dry milk, about half a pound, and some plain cornmeal. How many pounds will this make? This will make about ten and a half pounds. Got five pounds of the wheat, five pounds of the cornmeal, and half, half pound of the milk. I've got yeast. You see here, this is a three-pack yeast. It's pretty cheap. It's baker's yeast. I got five of them. I'm going to put 15 packs to this mix. Pretty easy and basic to do. Just want to open up everything. Get you a bucket or something you can store it in. Put a lid on because you don't want moisture to get to this later. Now one thing we might add here is this is a dry feed that we're going to feed externally out in your bee yard. Uh, I don't recommend mixing up a patty and put it inside your beehive. You'll have an attractant for your small high beetle. But this seems like it's going to be a good way to put some pollen substitute out there. And you know Fat Bee Man, we're trying to do things cheap and get you out there to be successful. James has been here two years and he's got a thriving business now. You need queens, packages, Bees delivered, he goes all over. Thank you. Yeah, this gives the bees a little boost early in the season too. Sometimes you might have a real wet winter and they can't get out and find much pollen. This will help put the protein to them so they can get them the brood pattern up. Let's make it real quick. I'm not going to put all this yeast in for the video purpose, but you're going to open all this yeast up. Put all 15 packs in there. It's going to be like this real nice and dry. Take and mix it pretty good by hand. Make sure you get everything mixed in. Pretty consistent with everything together. And then you can choose your own way how to feed this. I use an empty nuke away from the, away from the rest of my beehives so they don't get to fighting. Across my yard I'll put that inside the empty nuke just like it is and they'll work it and get what they need. You'll be surprised. You'll find them rolling in there like little dogs on the carpet. <laughs> Thank you. You got bees and uh, you tell people now you got nukes. How many you got for sale? Where you're at? I do. I have nukes. I'll have queens and queen cells this year. I'm located over by Athens, Georgia. Um, you can reach me or find me on on the website, Facebook. If you uh, Google or look up Flip and Bee Company, we should come up. It's Flip and Bee Company. Let me get a picture of his, his bee address here. We get a good picture of that. James is where I get a lot of uh, advertisement from them. T-shirts, coffee cups, hats. Trying to keep, take care of Don. He's taught me a lot over these years, and I appreciate everything he's done for me. If you're liking the videos, like them, subscribe to them. Don't cost you nothing. You'll get emails when we put new ones up. We're here to help the beekeeper without having to spend a ton of money. We do classes. James is one of our students here. He's one of our commercial students. We do day classes. We do by the year. I believe James is teaching some on the side over there too. You need basic beekeeping. He's down in Statham, Georgia. All right. We appreciate you watching the Fat Bee Man. We'll take you one last look and see what it looks like. And that's all there is to it. Simple and easy. Thank you, James. Yeah, thank you.